Hey guys, what's up, what's up? JJ here. So today's video is pretty much all about greed. Greed, 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 greed. Well, um, what I did, our uh, same matchup, our video, um, but I think what the video showcases very well, or the clip, it's that you should very much be greedy sometimes and maybe wait just for the little opportunity you might get at the end of the game to squeeze out the maximum value um, of a certain card which is super powerful in a matchup. Well, enjoy the clip guys. See you guys next time. You've got the heart of an uncrate. Got the heart. Men of Kedwin, attack! Uh, what would we like to mulligan? I mean, the mulligan is pretty simple nowadays. Just the machines first. So just drive pass against this boy. I mean, if, if it's really great sword, you can also just drive pass. It's kind of alright. If it's veterans, they sometimes have burner, but <coughs> usually not a problem. I need to play a second round, anyways. <laughs> okay, that's a funny name. African oh, African King, seventy-eight. <laughs> Thanks for the prime sub, dude. Appreciate it so much. That name, though. Yeah. That's a good hand. Can keep it. I see. Don't see bricks. Dry pass again. Yeah, obviously. I mean, we're playing Gwent, you know. Dry pass every time. You've got the heart of an uncrate. Got the heart. Three heads with one blow. Um, we're just gonna pull around it here, right? For this most beautiful of maidens, I shall fight a hundred jewels. He's running that hard. That makes me kind of think, what the fuck? Could give him the spy. Oh, I see you've thought about this. Yeah, I wanna create the ram with the um, with the hero, with the wrenches, so just giving him the spy there. I mean that artifact compression from hand though. Someone, ha someone has to elaborate me about that one. Yeah. This boy here, right? Stand and fight, cowards! Ah, uh, always a nice, a nice tasty card advantage there. Yummy. I don't know what he's doing with this compression, but yeah. Uh, could mulligan one of these two. The only bad draw we can get is one of the winches, but... That's how it is then. You just shuffle the horse riders in there, right? Yeah. Are you wounded? Again. Again. <laughs> Bow before modern Freya. Hey JJ, how's it going? You didn't qualify for the open, you noob. 
Yeah, because I already qualified for the actual important tournament. The only reason why you play the opens is the challenger, and the challenger I'm already qualified for. You know. <sighs> So he has an empty graveyard or what? Not really. Probably gonna take the Ballista or Trebuchet. Uh. Price money is not important. I... You know how much you need to play to qualify for the open, guys? Like, I make more money with streaming. Like, way... I would make quite more money with streaming. Won't pay us in gold. Pay us in blood. Just saying. Uh... His graveyard is so empty, he has to brick, right? Like, I will not kill this great sword, probably. Uh. Like, I actually don't want to kill his stuff at all. I mean, we can go, we can start with the ram here. Who cares about money? Yeah, but what I care about is sanity. Like, I would like to do something different with my time. When grinding pro letter. Dude, he's literally asking for a double scorch. I just, the problem that I do there by Scorching, I give him a Graveyard. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to do low tempo plays so I get another time of the debates, right? I don't know if I should scorch it because I don't think so. I'm an officer and a gentleman. I will do low tempo so I get my horse riders again. And then later on, like I think it's a big deal. Like he has no no ships in the graveyard and no um great swords. And he did yeah, now I will show you what you can do. You can even up the ships so you get a mega and an omega scorch later on. It's way better. Uh, so what we just do here is this. Ah, uh, maybe uh, it's actually this one here. Sorry. This will be better. Will be better. Promise. I promise. You gotta be greedy. Gotta be greedy. So that's his last ship. Though everything we need to do is just equal the ships up to each other. It's the only thing. I 
Got a double crewman here. Hmm. I'll probably like this. I'm an officer and a gentleman. You can't flee. That's what I'm telling you. Can't run away from the fire. The fire. It's so hard. Good. It's so hard to play around Scorch with this deck. So hard. At some point, you're just gonna give up, you know? You gotta give up on it. I would like to thunder something. As you command, Your Majesty. But what? This gives him a possible resurrection. Probably like this. Don't you think he's sick, sitting on his priestresses and on his sick drifter and on his boat masters? Because I think he is. How are they called? They're called corsairs, right? I will flop off three heads with one blow. I mean, these we could kill, right? Or we just take um, this boy here. He's got a, a bunch of dead Freyas in the hand. Yeah, that's what I think. But I can't say no to this one, guys. Sorry. <laughs> that's like 51. has yet to speak its last. Over here. We serve her who is virgin, mother and crone. Well, he had one Freya. I'm great!